let's come back and start with your first uh, first topic of your electrochemistry that is the differences between electrochemical cells as well as electrolytic cells then once we understand the concept we can gradually go into the cell notation cell potentials uh, cell potential calculation then Nernst equation concentration cells okay let's start so first whenever they ask you this question directly basic basically this information is given to you to understand <coughs> the whole chapter how is the reaction how are the electrons flowing done whenever i speak about electro chemical cells remember electrochemical uh, uh, cells if i have to speak it's also called as galvanic cell or voltaic cell now in electrolytic cell <laughs> we are going to study about the electrolysis process both electrolysis process only let's start with the differences so whenever in the exam they ask you differences between galvanic cell or voltaic cell or electrolytic cell so these two are the same and you can compare with that so let's start with the property first definition when i have to speak about definition electrochemical cells they convert you have to remember only two concepts here chemical energy to electrical energy here electrical energy to chemical energy so the process whatever we're using so important first thing under electrochemical cells as the name suggests it converts chemical energy is converted by the user or by the formation the, uh, by the chemical reaction that electrons whatever are formed the chemical energy is converted into electrical energy okay and the other way around start the other way now electrical energy here is converted into chemical energy okay this is the simplest question the simplest like sentence here when I, mean, I have to see the assembly how is it assembled how the electrochemical basically in electrochemical cells we have two electrolytic cells or two half cells we call it as two half cells so what what do you have first it consists of two half cells let us write that consists of two half cells here what are you finding it consists of only one electrolytic cell electrolytic cell okay done what else do you have what else are you observing in the assembly part assembly means what what components you have you also have <coughs> electrodes dipped in that so the electrodes can be same or the electrodes can be different right so same or different uh, electrodes can be there but the electrolyte in both of them yeah that uh, varies if you take zinc rod zinc sulfate copper copper sulfate electrode so you can write it has has same or different electrodes dipped in electrolytic solutions electrolytic solution respective electrolytic solutions here what do we have you have electrodes yeah the only one cell isn't it you have again two electrodes in those two electrodes they are dipped in electrolytic solution as you see so this is the electrolyte this is the electrode so this is your electrode and this is your electrolytic solution so right now two electrodes are dipped in electrolytic solution okay this is also easy electrolytic solution there is nothing logical in this let's come back spontaneity whenever i speak about electrochemical cells the reaction the redox reactions are very spontaneous they will immediately transfer of electrons from anode to cathode so important electrochemical cells are spontaneous or they show show spontaneous redox reactions both oxidation and reduction occurs in the cell oxidation and reduction here they are non-spontaneous non-spontaneous redox reactions so let's come back and do the next differences Right, now let's come back and see the nature of electrodes which we have taken we already discussed that it has two half cells then i also said i spoke about electrolytes then now let us start <coughs> going go in, let us go into the concept of the electrolytic cell or the electrochemical cells and here when i have to speak about the nature of electrodes as i said there are two electrodes then the first electrode always remember that is here it is anode the anode is in electrochemical cells is negative remember here when i speak about electrolytic cells the anode is positive done when anode is negative 
cathode automatically will be positive remember negative positive then here cathode will be negative the charge on that done the next important thing after electrodes let us come back and see how are the electrons movement how is the movement of the electrons all well, this remember electrons flow from anodic compartment to cathodic compartment now this is the anodic compartment i've already written yes anode and cathode so electrons always flow from anodic compartment to cathodic so electrons move from anode to cathode that's it done let's come back in electrolytic cell here the electrons enter from cathode and they leave from anode so movement of electrons electrons okay movement of electrons we will write better it's the opposite of that movement of electrons from cathode to anode the reverse of that when i have to speak about the salt bridge in electrochemical cells yes salt bridge is required salt bridge is required here there is no salt bridge isn't it this is your salt bridge so here there is no salt bridge required let's come back and do the next set of differences let's come back and see the next difference it is discharging of ions where are the ions discharged in electrochemical cells <coughs> ions are discharged only at cathode that means they're released at cathode they from the anode they get transferred and finally they get discharged here discharged at cathode so here when i speak in electrolytic cell they discharge ions are discharging both the electrodes ions are discharged in both the electrodes okay this is over now after this next important i have tried the cell reactions now when i have to speak about uh, the galvanic cell i said this is an anodic compartment so this is called oxidation half cell i always at anode oxidation occurs at cathode reduction occurs so because it anode oxidation occurs it is called oxidation half cell at cathode reduction occurs so this is called reduction half cell done now suppose if i have uh, after write the cell reaction i said oxidation is loss of electrons so start with that how first i have a metal right metal rod dipped in electrolytic solution at anodic compartment it is going to give electrons oxidation once it gives electrons it's going to attain a positive charge isn't it something is lost electrons positive so this becomes m n plus or you can write plus n anything so plus charge now this is where this is occurring at anode loss of electron from here the electrons travel in this direction so what do we get this m plus n is going to pick up this electron yeah and this becomes metal now this is what this is reduction oxidation process at the anode acceptance of electrons this occurs at cathode now let's come back and write for electrolytic cell simple suppose if i have an a plus now this is the electrolytic solution here na plus ion combines with cl minus ion because both are dipped in the same electrolytic cell cl minus what do i get i get <coughs> na right and i'm going to get half cl2 gas right now observe carefully na plus so this is your liquid then so ions okay uh, uh, combining together right forming uh, the they to combine together form and solution aqueous solution